Greetings, this is Pastor Linda, and today I want to read to you my new, from my new book. It's called The Woman in the Mirror, and the subtitle is Three-Dimensional Self-Image for Women, Discover How to Love the Real You. We're going to be talking about that today. In the introduction, it says, when you look in the mirror, who do you see? What do you say to yourself? Do you love the person you see? What do you really think about yourself? Do you love who you are? What are you judging about yourself? What are you judging about yourself? What are you saying to yourself every day when you look in the mirror? My experience after 30 plus years of ministry is women are their worst enemies. We think others are judging us, and maybe they are, but I suggest not as much as we are judging yourself. A morbid statistic I heard is the average number of people crying over a deceased person is only 10, and whether or not they decide to come to the cemetery for burial depends on the weather. So let's be real, other people are not concerned about you as much as you are. Or I'm talking about myself too, as much as I am. I'm definitely more concerned about myself than other people because it's self-preservation. We have to be concerned about ourselves. But we're going to see later how God has given us a vision of how we should see ourselves and how God how God wants us to see others. So we have a dose of reality. Now, if you're still reading, I believe that you are open to receiving some truths that will encourage and change your life forever. So a ray of sunshine is you are loved far more by God than any human being. We all suffer from a degree of self-hate. Our past failure sins, generational sins have all impacted our mind and ultimately our lives. The right question you and I need to ask ourselves is what really is determining my self-worth? Years of negative thoughts and feelings have embedded into your soul to make for an emotional soup of self-sabotage. You can either slump on the, on the soup of self-pity every day, you can either slurp, sorry, on the soup of self-pity every day and live with the torment from resentment and bitterness, or find out the root of the problem and deal with it. Make changes and change your life and your family's legacy forever. Your past and the past of our forefathers does not impact and affect your future and your children, it doesn't have to. It, af- it doesn't have to affect their lives either in a, in a negative way anymore, but rather in a positive way. What hope do you and I have for a good future? How can you learn to love yourself and to live to the fullest? This ebook is designed, and I'm making a regular book out of it too, is designed and dedicated to digging in down deep down into the root, taking a look at them and digging those things that need to be dug up, getting rid of them forever. Can be painful, but I guarantee it's worth it and it if you apply these principles. So are you ready to dig in? Each chapter has an action step, ray of sunshine and a link to my thought of the day video. The step number 1 example is to pray this prayer. God, I'm in need of help. I can't do it on my own. I've made a mess of my life. Please teach me and show me your ways. Amen. So that's the first introduction to my book. And tomorrow I'll read the first chapter. All right, so um, that is my thought for the day. My thought for today is learn to love yourself as God loves you. God bless. Have an awesome day. This is Pastor Linda with lindacross.com and cfclakefield.com. And have a blessed day. Amen.